Então me disse, velho. So some more Grand Theft Auto 5. Today we are looking at the brand new flight school update that launched. And we are driving right now to go test fly our brand new Western Vesra. And we are driving right now the classic Corquette. I personally love this car. You guys can see right now the driving skill right now. Man, look at this shit. Oh my god. Not a scratch to this baby or heads will roll. But today though, as I said, we're going to be test flying the new Western Vesra. And I'm excited. Now, it's going to be kind of a different test flight if you know what I'm saying. Now, you guys know me. You know, I like to do a lot of crazy things in GTA. But first though, guys. We need a damn flight suit, though. Okay. Alright, so here she is, the Western Vesra. And I figured, as I said, we'd take a little bit of a different approach to this test flight now you guys are probably expecting you know a nice air trip maybe from point to point see how fast it goes how agile it is now we are going to be doing something very similar but we're going to keep it on the ground this time now i know a lot of you guys are thinking what the hell but have a look at this gentlemen we are reverse flying this thing right now i don't even know what to call this but we are doing some freestyle right now and this thing is so agile on the ground in reverse now really all you need to do is just hold the back thrust button and use your actual bumpers left and right and this thing will steer on a dime for you there is no need at all i mean you can probably do some drag races some pulls with these things i don't even know man things are endless with this and it's pretty damn cool i'm not gonna lie i had a ball with this i um, had a lot of fun doing it and we're gonna get some cops in on this as well too because nothing is better than adding cops into the situation now we are going to try and actually take off in reverse now all I did was hold the stick on the downwards motion on the left stick to try and get the rear end up. And she lifts. She definitely does lift. But check this out though guys. There's a little bit of an issue when we try to lift it. God damn man. We flipped the damn thing. As I said it gets air. It's just a matter is it can't. Hold it straight. Now, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from a damn plane. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, crazy Spanny coming in, killing us, man. We destroying our jet, but we got another one. Don't you worry about a thing, guys. Now, as I said, we got cops on us this time, and it's gonna get a little bit ugly, but don't worry, though. I'm a good jet pilot, I promise you, gentlemen. guys so as you can see that was a pretty damn crazy run now what we're going to be showing you guys right now is actual flying footage of the best run i know a lot of you guys are expecting it not just you know flying backwards in the damn airport but i will tell you this though that thing gets down man it's crazy now we don't actually have the jet in the hangar as of yet so we're going to take the titan up and then i'm going to parachute down now unfortunately i did not pick up the new parachute package that was uh also in the dlc that dropped 
Now I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are of this, and you know, you know, give me your thoughts on the DLC, what they added. Personally, I love it. The only thing that I would have changed personally would have been adding any kind of lock-on system for the Bessera. Now the Bessera has no weapons at all. It's just a jet just to fly around. I think that it would have added a different variety to the game if it was included with, you know, some sort of missile, machine gun, something just to kind of give yourself something to do with the playing. As I found myself last night just kind of playing around, it got a little boring the more that I played with nothing really to do except for flying around. Obviously, you know, there's lots of things to do when you fly around, but, you know, sometimes you just want to go all out and just, you know, carnage stuff and just destroy things. Now, it would have made online probably a little bit of a problem just because of the fact that it's so easy to get it's very very accessible but at the same time we need about a mil half to actually pick this plane up so you know it had advantages and it also with disadvantages but i will tell you this though this plane is a rocket now if you guys do want to see some more footage on this plane make sure you guys slap that like button let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely do, you know, another video, maybe some airplane stunts going through some buildings with a pack of, you know, other jets and stuff like that. It should be a lot of fun, but let me know in the comment section below. But overall, though, I get this plane in terms of agility, in terms of, you know, acceleration, speed. This thing is very fast. To give it probably a solid, you know, 8 out of 10. It would have had a 10 out of 10 if there was guns or some sort of missile lock on or even a dogfight system for us to, you know, play around with. But right here, though, it showcases the plane's agility just coming inches away from the ground picking it right up no issue whatsoever barrel roll is not a problem as well too so overall as i said awesome awesome plane really we cannot complain for the price of free 99 you know what i'm saying you cannot complain at all so thank you guys very much for coming around today as i said if you want to see more footage of the western besra and more jet fighters as well too make sure you guys slap that like button chibota slap train i'm out peace